Right ho, I'm gonna demonstrate how to use Google Earth to get familiar with the bike route. And for our demonstration, I'm gonna use the route called Go in a Nutshell, possibly one of the best in the world. Okay, so get to the Facebook page, click on the Map My Ride link, and that opens up in a bit. You can see it's been made by a very special guy. Go down to the map and export this route. Export it as KML because that's what Google Earth works with. And in a bit it's gonna download it, sleeping. Wakey wakey. Okay, it's downloaded. I click on the downloaded KML file and it should invoke Google Earth. As good. Google Earth is coming up, it's going to highlight on the left pane. You should be able to see temporary places and below that a mapmyfitness.com entry. Expand that, you should find go in a nutshell. Expand that further and you should get to a root entry. Highlight the root entry and you will immediately notice that this icon here changes form and if you hover your mouse over it, it will say play tour. Now before we play the tour, let's make a few changes. Go to tools, options, touring and change the speed, which by the way is in miles per hour to 74.5. I'll explain that in a bit. Okay, we're pretty much ready to go. And to start the tour, just click on this and off we are running. So as you can see, we're going to start. Okay, I'm going to stop the tour right now to explain the things. First, whenever you move your cursor during the tour, this set of controls on the left bottom will come up. There's a, a rewind. A, a play pause, a fast forward and interestingly a slider bar and finally on the right hand is a minutes and seconds number. Now this is where I come back to the options change we made. The option change actually we set it 74.5 which is miles per hour and that translates very closely to 120 kilometers an hour which is 2 kilometers a minute. Now the reason for that is to make this number which actually represents time in the tour to be a proxy for distance because Google Earth doesn't seem to have any measure of distance being displayed anywhere. So this becomes a proxy for distance and let's confirm that we know that this BRM is 200 kilometers so I'm going to use the slider bar to go all the way to the end and it should show us about 201 kilometers, 202 kilometers, 100 minutes, 52 seconds, that's approximately 101 minutes multiplied by 2 and that's 202. Fair enough, let's get back and get going with this baby. Off we go and we are off and running. Now how do you use this? It's going to give you an actual picture of where you're going to go. You can speed it up. So let's speed it up. And interestingly enough, irrespective of the speed, your time number out here continues to be representative of the actual distance you've covered. Let me demonstrate how I use it. Now I've been on this route before and I know there's a track at 52 kilometers. And that, this is something you, you'd usually determine once you actually do the route at high speed. You find, hey, that's a, that's a curve that needs to be examined further. So anyway, let's go and examine this guy. So I go to about 25 or so and start the tour from there. And I'm going down this road. It's coming up to 52 kilometers. I'm in about just short of 52 kilometers. And there you are, there's a curve. So this is a T-junction and I can expand it out, look at it in more detail 
and realize that if I take the wrong turn I'm gonna head into some weird country and get lost so I want to turn left here so I can go on further examine landmarks maybe go back a bit look for some markers but the most important thing of course is your odometer reading so you know that this is going to come at just past 52 kilometers so be ready for it okay finally a couple of errors in this map my ride uh, route uh, and there's one error at about I believe 8.5 kilometers or is it 17 kilometers yeah 17.5 kilometers so I go to about okay 16 whatever um, on the Mopsa road Porvari Mopsa road and I'm coming to this I'll speed it up a bit and this point here is incorrect let's zoom out look at it in some detail and you see this is actually the highway this is the, uh, the uh, Mopsa bypass and you really should be going directly through okay there's another error at a slightly bigger error at 105 kilometers so let's go there quickly which means I should be at about 52 or so there we are 53 won't do it okay I'll just rewind and view it from the other side speed it up okay that this turn here is incorrect and I'll just show it to you stop it here expand out and this is the road from this is the Margao bypass going to Kepe from the Fatoda circle so you can see the Fatoda circle here uh, and uh, in terms of distance let's examine the distance so here you are distance is about 105 kilometers 52 and a half minutes which is 105 kilometers so at this point continue going straight and uh, press on to Crepin that's really it enjoy people